to building a pedal board, how much money do you actually have to spend to get a good sound? Do the pedals really even make that big a difference or is it about the guitar you're using or the amps you're plugged into? We're gonna put that to the test because I have some of the most inexpensive pedals on the market and I'm putting them up against the most expensive counterparts that I have in my collection. So I'm not necessarily going to try and out-tone the competition. I'm gonna try and match what I have here, and these pedals are from Donner. You can check out the links in the description for all these different pedals. They're very good quality for the cost, and I highly recommend checking them out if you're interested. Over the course of this video, we're going to not only go over a tone shootout, but we're also going to get into what makes a good pedal board and how to dial in certain tones and what the pedal board really means to you as a guitar player. And we're not necessarily going super deep into modulation. This is more of a lead and rhythm guitar tones type of thing. So primarily concentrating on overdrive and ambience, which is reverb and delay. We also have a couple different utility pedals that I'll mention, which really, I think, could be the X factor that a lot of people don't consider when erecting the ultimate pedal board. Let's get into the under $250 pedal board, we have, as you can see, a tuner, an overdrive, a noise gate, three different echo pedals, a reverb, a loop pedal, and an ABY box. Now for the purposes of this video, I'm only going to use two of the delay pedals, and the comparison board is going to be a Polytune, the Klon. I bought this pedal for $5,000. I didn't buy the $500,000 Klon. That wasn't real. You guys get that, right? That was a joke. Watch the video if you have no idea what I'm talking about. I didn't spend half a million dollars on a guitar pedal. So, we have the Klon. Like I said, I paid five grand for this. That was real. Uh, I think since I've done that, the market has gone up and I would say these are about worth 7,500 now. So there's that. We have the noise suppressor, then into the echo system, into the Fernwe, into the Ventress, and out into a buffer from Empress. And we're actually gonna start at the end of the strip the ABY box. What this does is splits the signal into two different signals so that way you can go out to two different amps if you're interested or you can change the switch over to this and switch between amps. So right now the way I'm going to do it for this video is I'm going to be blending two amps together to offer two different sorts of tones that equal one awesome tone and I think this pedal right here might actually be the pedal that's often overlooked. I use an ABY box on a vast majority of my videos. Whether you realize it or not, I'm often blending amp tones together. I think that's really what kind of takes the place of EQ, especially when it's just solo guitar, like most of this video is going to be. You can get an organic equalization by simply blending an amp that sounds one way and an amp that sounds the other way and kind of getting that sweet spot of the frequency. So just so you can understand what we're working with here, on the one side I have this diesel VH4 clean sound. <laughs> Now if I switch over, I have a Fuchs, also on a clean sound. Now, when I blend those two together, Such a beautiful clean sound, and that is literally using one $30 guitar pedal. Of course, you need the amps to make it happen, but honestly, my pedal board could be just that, and I use that for a recording tone, and then I add effects after the fact if I want to. But there are a lot of different directions you can go just by blending amps together. Now, a more expensive ABY box doesn't necessarily change the tone at all. It just offers more flexibility with effects loops and things of that nature. But if you're building a pedal board like this where your overdrive and distortion and those types of effects are the only things affecting the clean tone of the amp, really this ABY box here from Donner is all you need. The next thing we're gonna do is get into the ambient effects because really this is the heart of all my pedal boards that I build no matter what genre I'm playing. I'm always going to have some sort of delay and reverb happening, whether it's subtle or over the top. 
and I almost always have two delay pedals running. Usually it's one on the board and one that I do in the mix, but I also am very keen to have two delays on the board. So I'm gonna get into the first delay sound and then how to stack delays and how that can be beneficial. So for this video, I'm gonna be using the Echo Square and the Wave. This is sort of like a digital sound, a digital delay, and then I'm using this to emulate a tape delay and so that way I have two different timbres of delay sounds. Here's what a tape delay sounds like. It's very, almost low fidelity. Now, if I have this wave going on. Very subtle. Now, let me show you what happens when we combine these two and generally the rule of thumb when you're stacking delays is you want one quick one and one slower one. Otherwise, if you have them about the same tempo, that sort of defeats the purpose of having stacked delays. It gets a little muddy, but when you have a short one paired with a long one, you get something like this. You hear that ping pong. Now about the same echo sound with the big boy rig. Little fancier chords for fancier pedals, but as you can hear, about the same stuff. So here's my first echo sound. This is the tape delay style. And then for the fern wet, I have a very quick slap back and it also has a little bit more going on. Almost a double echo. So there might actually be three quick echoes happening, uh, but really you're gonna hear the same effect, just a little bit higher price tag pedals. I can't really hear a difference. I mean, as long as you have the settings correct and the modulation is about the same, there's not a huge difference. Again, obviously these pedals cost more for a reason, but are they worth it? That is the ultimate question we need to keep asking ourselves. This rig is going to sound different, even though I'm trying my best to match the effects. But ask yourself, do you care? And of course, when you add in a bit of overdrive to that equation, it can get you pretty close to sounding like a guitar hero. <laughs> And of course, as guitar players like to do, we turn up the gain and we add reverb. In this case, we're gonna be a very big church reverb. And as you can hear there, before I even play a note, you hear that hum? This is where the noise killer come into effect.
just for context. That's why you get that noise suppressor. sounds delightful. I think the last thing we can get into here is to put them into a full band context and have a little bit of a guitar duel, if you will. See which board comes out on top. I don't honestly think either board comes out on top. It's really a matter of personal preference, obviously what's in your bank account, what you're willing to spend, what you think is worth spending. Honestly, even if you can afford a certain price tag of pedal doesn't mean you should buy it. I know a lot of people, including myself, that use inexpensive guitar pedals. This delay pedal sounds awesome. It has all these different options, lo-fi, reverse, sweep, mod, tape, analog, you name it. Every delay type that you could need is on here. This noise gate is just as good as that noise gate. Really what I think uh, differentiates higher price tag pedals from inexpensive pedals is the nuance that potentially you may run into 5% of the time. 95% of guitar players never need to use the second effects loop out of a stereo buffer. And I think it goes without saying how many guitar players need a Klon. Probably none of us, but for some reason everybody wants one. And by everybody I mean me. So, without further ado, let's get to the final jam. Thanks again to Donner for sponsoring today's video and enlightening us on the beauty of simple, elegant, inexpensive guitar pedals. Make sure you check out the link down below for each pedal if you're interested in any of them. And until next time, <laughs>